everybody, it's Chuck from V3 Gaming. Uh, today we're looking at a brand new video card from NVIDIA. It's the GTX 560 Ti, so the GeForce GTX 560 Ti. Uh, this is it right here. We also have it running in the system behind us, which I'll talk about in a little while. But uh, the, like I said, it's the 560 Ti. It's a brand new card from NVIDIA. And it's a continuation of their already excellent uh, GTX 500 series, or just GeForce 500 series. Um, and uh, a couple things about this card, it's about three times the performance of the previous generation. Um, so that's a really big increase. Uh, it has all of the features you know and love from NVIDIA cards, like uh, especially like the Fermi base cards for the 400 and 500 series. Uh, so it has PhysX. It has DirectX 11 support and it has the hardware tessellation, um, CUDA, uh, all that stuff. So uh, that's really nice. This also has a, a, a kind of a, an improved cooler over some of the other cards um, that came before it. Um, inside there's actually heat pipes instead of just a standard um, convection heat sink. So that improves cooling. Uh, you can see there's two um, six pin PCI Express power connectors on the back of course it's a PCI Express X16 slot uh, output wise there's two dual link DVI ports and then a single mini uh, HDMI port and I, th I think the thing that really goes unnoticed or unmentioned uh, with with these new cards from NVIDIA are that first of all they run uh, very quiet they're like um, you know they're not loud at all like you can't hear that there's a system running in this room but actually right there is a very powerful system running and, and you can't hear it at all because it's it's really dead silent um, the other thing is actually the size uh, cards from the competition have uh, for similar performance they're much larger cards they're heavier uh, they're not necessarily louder or anything but they're just much larger physically and that that prohibits the use of those cards in in some cases uh, that are a little smaller, like for instance this one, um, you actually can use that, but it's a tighter fit. Uh, this is just overall a very well-rounded card, and it's a very very good card for anybody looking to upgrade from the previous generation. It's not that expensive, uh, and it's it's a very solid performer, which you guys will find out very soon when reviews of this card start hitting the internet. In fact, you can probably read them already today. Uh, when this video gets launched. So, okay, this is the GTX, like I said, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560 Ti. Now, we have the, the card running, another one of them, in this small form factor system here. And this is actually our brand new Move 3DS. We've had the Move 3DS for a while, but we've just updated it with new hardware. Uh, it's running, in addition to the 560 Ti, it's running Intel's new uh, second generation core family of processors, which is also called Sandy Bridge. So, you know, you've heard that if you follow the hardware scene, you've heard Sandy Bridge mentioned probably 50 million times in the last week or the last couple weeks since it launched. And inside this one, we actually have the Intel Core i7 2500K processor, which uh, is an unlocked. The K means it's an unlocked uh, processor. Uh, we have the system set up in a way that is it's very well rounded uh, like it has the that video the G4 GTX 560 Ti it has a 2500K processor it's got 4 gigs of fast memory from Patriot and it has a RAID uh, a 1 terabyte RAID array hard drive array so it's really fast uh, the motherboard the H67 chip said this is an ASUS board uh, it has native support for USB 3.0 uh, and SATA 6.0 gigabits per second so it will say to three but say to 6.0 gigabits per second is the speed so it's really good for doing like raid on a solid state array uh, it's, that's obviously more expensive this system here we're shooting more of like a lower budget platform uh, but you can really go crazy and, and do like a 256 gigabyte times two uh, solid state raid zero array and I mean that'd be that'd be really really fast uh, this this motherboard also has a built-in wireless N which is a uh, standard for our move series uh, across the line. Uh, it has a water liquid cooling which nobody else can do liquid cooling in a case this size. Um, so the advantage of liquid cooling is that it's a, it's a more efficient so you don't have to have as many big powerful fans shooting. Actually we have this fan set at the low setting which is why you can't hear it. Uh, I can turn the fan up. There's a, it's an adjustable fan. If I turn it up you can kind of start to hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not but um, 
you know, we, you don't need it to be that high, so we turn it down to low. Of course, it has a DVD drive and everything else you've come to expect from the Move system. So, basically, the Move, Move 3DS is a really good computer for saving space and also not making noise. So you can have it sitting on your desktop, like in your dorm room, or like in your uh, home entertainment, uh, like center uh, cabinet thing and have it sitting there and it, you know, it doesn't make a lot of noise and you have all this fun great functionality. Uh, you can play games in HD, 1080p, no problem. Um, you can do 3D, uh, if you have a 3D TV, you can use NVIDIA's 3D TV play technology over HDMI 1.4 uh, and you can, or, or DVI and you can just really, I mean, almost everything, you can do almost everything with this system. Actually, you probably can do everything. So, uh, yeah, check it out on our website. Um, I'm sure you'll hear a lot of more great things from the GTX 560 Ti from NVIDIA. And uh, until next time, this is Chuck from V3.